Tonight, crunch time for Artemis 1. NASA's most powerful rocket is set to lift off for the ultimate test a trip to the moon and back. Takeoff for that rocket known as Orion is set for tomorrow morning from Kennedy Space Center. The rocket will spend 42 days orbiting the moon. It is a test flight with no humans on board. CBS 42's Allie Root live tonight in the studio with what this means for the future of space exploration. And Allie, Alabama will be contributing to the mission as well. That's right, Ben. NASA officials tell us the Artemis mission is signaling a whole new era of space exploration. They say Apollo was about learning how to send humans into space. Artemis will take us one step further into our exploration of the solar system. NASA Administrator Bill Nelson says the overall goal of the Artemis program is to live and work on the moon, experiment and develop new fuels, and to produce a functional habitat on the moon, all in preparation to go to Mars. But first, Nelson says the intent of Artemis 1 is to test and assure a safe crew module entry, descent, splashdown, and recovery before a human crew takes flight. And over the course of the mission, which is going to last about a month, Orion will make its history by venturing further than any other spacecraft that has been built for humans. Tens of thousands of miles beyond the moon. NASA Deputy Administrator Pam Melroy says Artemis will build a blueprint for how they will accomplish a sustainable method for human and scientific exploration in our solar system. Melroy says the program will also help NASA define objectives before approaching the exploration of Mars. We get to practice on the moon which is just a couple of days away from Earth, a place that we can practice, learn, and prepare ourselves for future exploration to Mars and beyond. Engineer and former NASA astronaut Jan Davis has worked as an executive for the NASA government contractor since the program began 10 years ago. Davis says the Marshall Space Flight Center in Huntsville is responsible for designing and developing the Space Launch System hardware, software, and integration for the entire rocket. She says small businesses and manufacturing companies across Alabama created thousands of jobs for the program. Davis says this mission shows the world we are the leaders in technology, but notes it more importantly serves as an inspiration to future scientists, engineers, and astronauts. I think you can't put a dollar value on it or quantify it, but the inspiration we're giving our young people by going to the moon again is fantastic. Artemis 1 is scheduled to launch tomorrow within a two hour window beginning at 7.33 Central Time. Davis tells us Artemis 2 is expected to take four astronauts around the moon in 2024. In 2025, NASA hopes to land the first woman and person of color on the moon. Live in studio, Allie Root, CBS 42 News. Local coverage you can count on.